Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about learning C or C++. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, if I learn C slash C++, will I become better at programming in Java slash C Sharp, which I use at my job? Thank you for the valuable information. No sweat. Um, so the way that I usually give out tips related to this is that I like to say this, I, I rather I quote my old martial arts teacher because I had a similar question related to my old uh, like when I was doing martial arts and so I asked my teacher should I do these other things in order to get better at uh, at my cra at, at, at my art, my uh, the martial arts that I was doing and my teacher answered and said, so doing something that is not the thing you want to get good at for the sake of getting good at that thing doesn't make any sense. You can actually, ha you can absolutely have things that you dabble in in order to get better at the thing that you want to get good at. But if you want, at the end of the day, if you want to get, if you want to master running, then you should run. If you want to master martial arts, you should do martial arts. And I tell you the same thing. You should never ever have this idea that oh uh, I have these languages that I'm um, I want to get good at I should go and learn something else I can complete a different language to get good at these specific languages don't do that just focus if, if there, there is a specific language you want to get good at or if it's something you prioritize then focus on doing that thing uh, because at the end of the day learning a bunch of syntax from different languages that's not gonna make you a better software developer I mean uh, as an example, I know C Sharp and I know Java. I know Python and I know Ruby. Do you think that makes any type of difference to my skill as a software developer? No. Because they, a programming language, guys, a programming language, this is at least the way I look at it. I know that this is not always the thing that people think when they talk about programming languages because we are so emotional about so many things to me a programming language is just a tool it's all it is it's no different from a hammer or a saw it's the exact same thing it's something I use in order to do something that I need to get done so an example if you want to get better at Java or say C sharp or whatever you're using then use C sharp and Java build more advanced things. If you reach the point where you feel like you're no longer learning in Java or C Sharp and you want to go and do C and C++, it's probably due to the fact that you've learned the syntax and what you should focus on now are more holistic things. Things that are more related to the nature of the project. Because the thing is, guys, you can learn the syntax of a programming language in a few weeks that's still not going to make you a good software developer because remember the syntax of the programming language is completely irrelevant the, 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 that's the thing that I want people to understand at the end of the day my friends the programming language that you have picked is just a way for you to express logic to the computer that's all it is it doesn't matter if you're doing that in C, C++, Java, Ruby you pick your poison it's completely irrelevant the only thing that matters is what did you make with the programming language that you picked. So that's why I never personally get into these arguments with people about oh this language versus that language etc etc because yes there are pros and there are cons and if I do something very specific that needs a specific language or where one makes more sense than the other then sure I will opt in for that thing but rather than being I don't know like if in, um, in an orchestra, instead of claiming that, I don't know, the tuba is more important than the violin or the bass or whatever, I'm just going to be the composer guy and go, you all have value. We all need you in order to make the orchestra work. And it's the same thing here when it comes to programming languages. So if you want to get good at, say, Java or C Sharp, focus on Java and C Sharp. And only learn another language if you find it interesting or if there's some specific project that you're looking at where this specific tool is going to make a lot of sense and I mean I can't even think of something 
I mean, if you're going to motivate using C and C++ over, say, C Sharp or Java for anything, it's probably going to be something very close to the hardware or something like that. You mean, unless, as I said, if you just feel emotionally that you want to learn this thing because it's fun, then go and do it. I mean, that's the reason why I learned even the first thing about C++, for example. I have, I'm a web developer. I have no reason and no value from learning C++, practically, at least not for, for a professional purpose, but I still try to do it, and I can, I mean, I can build things in C++, I'm not a master of it, but I know enough to see its value, and I thought it was kind of cool, because I enjoy programming in different tools and, see different pers and seeing different perspectives, but I didn't do it so that I could get better at the languages that I'm using at my job. So that's like the one thing I can say where like, there might be a benefit to learning a lot of languages, uh, and I've said so in the past as well. It's very similar to traveling. It's not necessarily going to make you a better programmer. It's just going to give you a more holistic perspective of what's out there and like how people are doing different things and so forth. But uh, as I said, I, I really believe that you should not treat it as oh, I'm learning C or C++ to get better at this other thing. Because if that is your perspective, then just focus on the thing that you want to get good at and build more advanced things instead. So what I want you to take away from this is that, no, I don't think you should learn C or C++ to get better at Java or C Sharp. I think you should learn C and C++ because you have a project where it makes sense to use one of these languages. Or if you want to get closer, down, uh, closer to the hardware and maybe work with binaries and things like that. Maybe you want to make firmware, uh, 3D, well, if you're not going to work in Unity and C Sharp or stuff like that, maybe you want to do some graphics type of things or robotics uh, or you just want to build operating system stuff. Like, there are so many things that you can use C and C for that uh, is by itself going to be pretty interesting, pretty fun to learn, and very educational for you. And if you find it interesting, I think you should go for that. But don't treat these things as something that is going to be a complement to Java and C Sharp. Because if you're, you should never put your, in my opinion at the very least, you should never put yourself in a position where you're learning coding things you don't find interesting so that you can get better at the thing that you find interesting. Then you might as well just spend your time with the thing you find interesting. Because trust me when I say this, guys, if you want to spend your entire career in Java and C Sharp, you can. The ecosystems are enormous, and if you're trying, to, you're struggling to find a way to push yourself further and further in C, C Sharp and Java, it's probably not because you've reached the end of the pipeline. It's just because you have reached a point where you now think that learning another language is going to help you more. But the real thing that's going to help you grow is the nature of the products that you are working on. So if you've learned web or whatever you're doing in, say, Java or C Sharp, start building other stuff in these languages. Or maybe do some courses in computer science and solve them using your language. Because remember, a programming language is just a tool. That's all it is. You don't have to make it into a religion. You don't have to be like all the forum people and say, oh, this one or over that one. Just treat it as for what it is. It's a damn hammer. Have a great day.